Well, as kids head back to class this fall, they're picking a major and they're charting a course. Sometimes, however, as you know, there are detours, delays, and even the destination changes. Case in point is Joe Witchker and the path he took to becoming a nurse. Hey Dallas, my name is Joe. I'll be coming through and giving you a quick look through. The patients that Joe Witchker cares for at St. Vincent are the sickest of the sick. Can you squeeze my fingers? We meet families and patients every day on the worst day of their life. Was well, there anything else you guys would like to talk about? Some of the patients have traumatic injuries. They're paralyzed or in a coma. He has such a unique perspective because he has been on the other side of the curtain or the other side of the bed, if you will. For Joe, it was an unexpected insight that was gained shortly after his high school graduation. When I was finishing school, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. And that is when tragedy struck. His neighbor and childhood friend Jay Ruckelshaus was paralyzed in a diving accident at Geist Reservoir. As Jay rehabbed in Atlanta, he set out to hire a helper and start college at Duke. And I was like... Yeah, I knew that. Did you have any idea what you were signing up for? Not really. No, not really at all. But Joe went, and at Duke, he learned how to anticipate whatever Jay needed. He helped Jay eat, bathe, dress, and get where he needed to go. And along the way, Joe found direction. I mean, if this is kind of how a profession actually works, I'm really enjoying what I'm doing on a daily basis. Joe worked full time, and in his spare time, he picked up classes at NC Central University in Durham. After Jay graduated, Joe came back to Indianapolis and kept working toward his degree. I am 27 years old now, and it took about seven years, and I just graduated with my degree in nursing, my BSN at from Marion University. It feels great. He is a silent leader, very unique set of tools that we haven't seen before. So it's very exciting for us as a team. He has a history of being He's a good listener and he remembers that he has two ears and one mouth. And so that's very important in this line of work. You can't use a small dog. Looking back now, Joe believes his path was perfectly timed. By helping Jay, he found his way. Never compare your path in life to somebody else's. So we're all going. On, at our own paces, on our own routes. It helps to have good friends that'll be there for you whenever you need it. Mm -hmm. Joe and Jay still keep in touch as Jay continues his studies. He's across the pond in Oxford right now.